if you lost your place. We're going to go to uh, Galatians 2.20 this time, the next verse over from last 20 minutes segment. Now, when I talk about the settled death, a death that is settled, I'm, I want you to notice that I'm not calling it a finished work. Okay, not because it's, the work isn't finished, but it's not a finished work. It's a settled death. It's a big difference. G, one is a work, which is not the I am, and the other is a person <clears throat> that is the settledness of it. And we are found in him. But we're not settled. We're not finished in ourselves, and we never will be. We're complete, though, but we're not finished. We're complete in him, in him, in the person of the death. But we are yet growing up into him in all things. Okay, so that that will manifest down or depending on the orientation that we chose to look at, vine branch will we'll grow down into here. All right, so we've been talking about the in Christ death and the Christ in you death. <clears throat> the in Christ death is not a death of chalk on a chalkboard that lost its place on a piece of chalk. It is an actual person that we were enfolded, as it were, into him and brought into his death. And we said that when we first started some of this teaching. We said, this is not about death. You all remember that? This is not about death. It's about his death. It's about his, it's not about death. It's about his death. So we're not trying to bring about our death. We're not trying to understand our death. We're not trying to see our death in, this, in the sense of that. We need to see it in the, in, in the most real situation in our being, but that's part of what I'll hope to explain soon. All right. So Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ, and then I would just like to skip over and when I typed in this scripture, I typed in, I am crucified with Christ. I skipped over, nevertheless, I live uh, yet. And when I put not I, I left out the T, like what's written on the board here. I am crucified with Christ. No I. <laughs> Are you up for that? That's one of those Holy Spirit blunders that yeah. was eternal. <clears throat> no, uh, you know, Patty, right? No ideals. No, no, that's a different. <laughs> All right. So, as so, this first part, I am I am crucified with Christ. This relates to us as priests. We we are finding this out together because we were not crucified with Christ individually. I know this says I am crucified with Christ, but the I am is inclusive and we always make I, this us when in reality we were crucified with Christ. With the I am. That's what made this I am. And, and it, was, it was taken out of just the fact that you individually were, and it was put into an eternal perspective of I am, and you know what? We are, but he didn't use we because it has to be each of us finding this out, but in truth, finding it out together in a certain sense, and I'll explain that. The picture that I got on this was the tabernacle, and most of you are familiar with the tabernacle, the, the basic setup. But the setup was that um, the tabernacle was put in the midst of God's people, and then there, the tribes were on 
you know, each side of it, and it was in the center. But the tabernacle was where the priests ministered, okay? That's where the priests ministered, okay? So the time comes, God says, do this, da 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 and he says, now, go, set it up. Go, set it up. Make it according to the pattern that you saw in the mount. In the mount, you're dealing with I am stuff then. You're de dealing with settled. Okay, so they've got the badger skin and all the different skin that covers the, uh, the, that covers the tabernacle. They've got uh, brass poles. They've got stakes. So they're all working together to bring the image and the form that God wants. So they lay this out, and so they're, they're working, and they say, okay, pull this skin, pull it further over here. You know, hold on there. You get over here. Let's pull the skin. Let's lay it out on the ground, on the earth. Pull it. Okay, now let's drive in the stakes. Let's drive in the stakes to hold it in place, which happened to Jesus on the cross. They're going, okay, and they, they're, they're working on this, and some, some are underneath it. Okay, now lift him up. If I be lifted up, but it's a death, lift him up on brass poles. Remember brass, the serpent on the brass pole? Lift him up on, on those things, and Every bit of it is they're working together. Their, their heart is toward not each individual getting this, but to bring the image of Christ in the earth. That's a big difference because they're priests. They're priests. They're not individuals. And they're going, this is our goal. This is what we're dedicated to. This is what we believe. And so... That's what they're constantly doing. And when they move, let's do it again. Let's set it up again in the earth. Pull that skin tight and, and, and drive those stakes in. And, you know, and every time, and God is going, this is, this is my son. This is my crucified son. This is, I am the I am of my crucifixion. I am with Christ. I am not separate trying to get hold of my crucifixion. I am praying for something greater than individuality. I am living. Those priests, they live this. This is where they live. This is what they live. And you know, a thousand things. We'll get into another one uh, if we go another round here. Th this is where they live. This is what was their life was involved in was making that reality in the earth. And, it, and you couldn't see, I mean, most people wouldn't see it in skins and, and stakes being driven in and all that stuff, but they saw it. They saw it from Moses. They saw it from the mountain. They're making it according to something eternal. They're making it according to the settled death. And they're establishing it so that it'll be a house of a habitation of God and a house for all who want to come and discover what is settled, okay? What is secure, secure. Security is a, is a good word, right? To be secure, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be nice? I mean, how many of you know that your salvation is secure? Raise your hands. Okay, good. Okay, there's a couple of you going to hell, but anyway, that's fine. Um, <laughs> but, but, but there's a security well beyond that, isn't there? There's a security that that um, when the earth shakes, everything that can be shook will be shook. But this. This death, this skin, this I am death will never be shook. It is so firm. It is so secure so that it can shake and it's as if an earthquake is going on around you and you're standing still. It's like, 
you know, you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not just talking about, um, you know, not going through stuff or whatever. And if you were spiritual, you wouldn't go through stuff. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a reality that you know where you are and you know who you are and all of that is tied up with an I am, not a oh me. <laughs> right? It has to be that. And there's not going to be any manifestation of Christ. There's not going to be any lamb death manifestations in our life. They will be copies they will be our best attempt. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, I mean, we have, you know, I'm going to lay down my life and do this, and when it's not appreciated, we get all huffy and, you know, oh, my God. You know, well, that's not the death. That's not his death. That's, that's our best attempt. You know, that's a, a, a goat attempt at lambship, you know. Okay, well, we know, we know that failure. Anybody ready to get over that? Well, you don't get over that. You change your focus from that area. You would think, well, that's, got, that's so important to God. It is, but there is no security there unless your security is stable in his death. His death will manifest down through you. Okay? So, um, the glory of God then, they're, they're, they're laying these skins out and, and all of that, and they're getting it ready, and they get it up, and then that, that Shekinah glory comes back again, time after time. I mean, remember, they're carrying it and whatever along the way, the, 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 the coverings and all of that, and the knops and the this and the that, and all the different things that they've got, and I don't think there's little, little Shekinah glories over each little suitcase or something, you know. No. And in fact, I don't know that they even saw it during that time other than when they were in the march. I don't know if it was going, well, where do I go? You know. But when it's set up, when and when they, it's seeing the process, this is the glory of God in the earth. Christ crucified is the glory of God in the earth. This is God in our midst. This is God in our midst. That's why I said we have to know him in his death. That's why I said we have to know that death as our death. But we can't know that by knowing that death is my death except I look at his death. And that is a twofold process. The first one is the reality of the tabernacle where you're functioning as priest and you're functioning together and you're, and this is what God wanted. That's why I set up priest in the first place. I want, you know, that, that word peculiar people isn't that a, a, a designation that we're weird. That is a designation for priests. It is. Check it out. That's, that's what it is. That's where it came from. That's what it was about. He wanted a peculiar people, the, a people that were peculiarly, they were focused in, they were um, after is not the right word. They were this, and they were that reality. They wanted that to be real. Okay. All right, so um, how much time have I got? Six minutes. Can I pull this off? I'd like to. All right, so not I relates to or, or, or I am with Christ in the cross. Can I reword that little phrase? I am with Christ in the cross. That's not just that I literally was taken into him and he crucified me, even if it was against my will. No, this is I am with Christ in the cross. I have agreed to that. All right. So then the other part is no I or not I, Christ lives in me. Not I, Christ lives within me. Okay. So this is Christ living in you. Right? Now we're going to talk about 
Christ living in you. Up to this point, <laughs> up to this point, we've talked about the, the settled death. Now we're going to talk about no I, not I, but Christ living in me. We're going to talk about manifestation. All right. So once the tabernacle is set up, then the people, then the congregation, then um, those who are his uh, body, they come to the tabernacle, and the first thing that they need to confront is the altar. Now, the altar, the word altar throughout the scripture, unless it's a foreign altar, whoa, is always Christ crucified. The altar is always Christ crucified. It's not just a little thing there. It is a screaming representation of Christ crucified. All right. So um, they, they come to the tabernacle and they come to the priest. Are they? And in this case, the priest could be the Lord. And they come with their sacrifices. And they're going to watch the priest offer the sacrifice. Okay, so they need to see the death. They need to experience the death. They need to realize the death. They don't just sit in their tent and say, oh, God, show me the death. Get up, take, take you, because that land that it's going to offer represents them and their death. Get up, take you to the altar of the cross, and watch the process. All right. So process is, the priest takes it, they lay hands on it, they, they, they slay the lamb. He's standing there watching, if you will. No, they didn't just, oh, I'm sorry. He didn't slay the lamb. They slit its throat and the blood ran all over the place. You need to see your death with Christ. You need to see your death. You need to understand what not I means. Okay. So the throat is slit and then, then blood runs all over the place and then you watch it die. You watch what represents you in the lamb, die. You watch it die. And you see, you don't hear, you don't sit in a class, you don't sit in a church service, you see by the priest what that death looks like. And then they take it and they cut it to pieces. Cut it up. Every piece is laid on the altar. Every piece put down on that altar. And, and you're not looking at it and going, you know, um, maybe God will reconcile these pieces back together again. No, it's done. It's done. There's no hope of bringing that back together now. That thing is done. And every piece is laid on the altar. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't leave a few pieces out or whatever. And and it's never going to be put back together again. And you need to see that. You need to see that. It's, this, isn't, this is not coming back. It's not. And God, our high priest, has to show you that. And then there's fire that, that comes down and begins to consume it. Nothing is left but ashes. Ashes, ashes. And we see this. We, we see this process. We it's like we experience it. And we know that there's, there's nothing left. There's only these ashes. But then even the ashes are taken and put in a, in a pan and taken outside the city and thrown away and blown to the four corners. How are you going to find all those pieces and put it back together again? And that process is never taken from the sight of the person who brought it. They don't take it off into a room and do some stuff. 
No, this is intentional. You need to see this. You need to, uh, you, you have to comprehend that reality as your own. You have to experience the dying. You have to comprehend. And the person who brought it must know it's dead. It's dead. It's dead. And in this case, another died. But you have to experience its death. Another died. It was a sheep, now a lamb. But you have to experience that death, his death. That's what you're after. That's what you want, not just in the heavenlies, but in earth as it is. As it is, the I am. And there, there, in his death, that person realizes I'm truly dead. This is, God's not bringing me back. He's not going to save me from this. And only in Knowing him in his death, is that going to make any difference? That's the only way. So the heart has to be focused. So the heart has to, has to come and go through that with the Holy Spirit and see each part and see how settled this is. See, we say it's settled. He did the work. So everything's okay. God says, it's settled. You're not coming back. There's no way. I have made this where you are crucified with me. Nevertheless, you live, but not you. No, no I. Christ now is living with you. And then just to tie this in with the last class, uh, and that is, that even as in Christ, we were, it's not a doctrine or whatever, we were joined into a person and he became our environment, our mind, our views, our, our heart. He became that and that's what in Christ meant. Well, now he comes into us. He comes into us and he becomes the life of the vessel. Not just some and the other is not supposed to be theoretical, theological, ethereal, not supposed to be any of that anyway. It's supposed to be real, but Christ in you will be real and manifest and seen and known based on his death. And that's our hope. That's our hope. Amen. Okay, I think... Uh,